Hi, my name is Suhaila Salampur, and I would like to welcome you to Belly Dance Fitness Fusion Yoga. The ancient art of yoga, combined with the ancient art of belly dance, is the perfect blend to an internal and external workout. The art forms have a lot in common, and you will have a deeper connection to both. Remember to take it at your own pace and keep breathing. We're going to begin with pranayama breathing. Clasp the hands, place them under your chin, bring the elbows in. Now I want you to take a big breath in, keep the mouth closed and feel it in the back of your throat. As the elbows rise, inhale. And make sure that the breath is coming from back deep into your throat. And now separate your lips and make a ha sound as you exhale and draw the head back and bring the elbows together. And again, inhale up. And exhale, release out, drop the head. And inhale up. Now relax your feet. And keep your legs strong. Quads, hamstrings, glutes contracted. And elbows in. Release the head back. And inhale up. And exhale, release out. Elbows up by the side of the ears. And exhale, release out, drop the head back. And two more, inhale up. Elbows by the side of your ears, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, drop the head back, elbows together. And one more big breath in. And exhale, drop the head back. And now release the arms by your side. And take a big breath up. And now hands together, first fingers together and reach up. Point the finger up to the ceiling, and now just rock side to side, side to side, side bend, and now side bend with a ribcage circle. And you're drawing a circle with your fingers on the ceiling. And now reach up through center. And now side bend over to the side and hold. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads, your hamstrings, or your support system. Hold it there. And come up slowly. Inhale. Reach up through center and exhale. Take it over to the side and hold. Come up and reach the fingertips up to the ceiling. Drop the head back for mountain pose and hold. And lift up, pull up, pull up. And now forward bend. Come out with the hands. Just bend at the hips. Take it slow, take it slow, take it slow, and release down, hands on the floor, drop the head, and hold. And remember, if you need to modify and have your hands on top of your thighs, no problem. You just take it step by step.
And now come up flat back. Fingers together, clasp the hands and reach up and hold it there. Hold it out through center. And now into Thunderbolt, bend the knees and release the hands to the corner of the room and look up and hold it there. Keep the head up. Flat back, stomach in. And now lift up. Inhale. And exhale, release the hands. And let's do that again. Inhale up. Into side bend and reach side to side. And now ribcage circle. And now hold it to the side and reach up out of your fingertips. And inhale. And exhale, take it over to the other side. Remember, quads, hamstrings, glutes, tight and strong, holding you up. Reach through the fingertips. And inhale up, and just release the head back. Mountain pose, fingertips up to the ceiling, and hold. Relax your feet. Take it over. Take it over. Reach, 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 reach. Forward bend here. Here we go. Halfway lift right there and release down. Keep your breathing. Relax your feet. And now bring the hands together again. First fingers connected and come up into halfway lift and hold. Stomach in, and now bend the knees in the thunderbolt. Release the hands, and hold. And reach up, inhale, and exhale. Now the triangle series. Standing in straddle stance, arms out to the side, straddle bend. You're gonna keep your arms reached out to the side and come forward, keep the head up. Remember, use your legs, contract your quads, your glutes, your hamstring for support, stomach in, hold it there, keep your head up, keep your head up, hold, hold, hold. And release down, hold it floor, hold it there. And now the modification is to take it up and have your hands on top of your thighs for support. And now come up, hands out to the side and lift the head up first, leading with your eyes, flat back. Flat back and come up. Bring the right leg in, arms overhead. And exhale, release out. And again, straddle stance. Take the right leg out, reach the arms out. Stomach in and forward bend, hold it there. Keep the eyes up. And take it down. And arms out, lead with the eyes, come up. And all the way up, bring the leg in, inhale. And exhale, release out. 
And now take the right leg out, arms out to the side. And now point the foot to the side. And now bend into that leg. And now you're gonna look in the opposite direction. And take the upper body over to the bent knee and place your hand or your forearm in front of your knee and press the knee back as you look up to the ceiling for triangle pose. And come up and bring that foot in and reverse. Bring the other foot out to the side and bend into that leg and come down. Forearm in front of the knee, press the knee back and bring that hand up to the ceiling and reach, reach. Stomach in. And now come up. Bring the foot back to center and bring the leg in, arms overhead. Inhale and exhale. Take the leg out to the side, palms down and turn that foot out and look in the opposite direction and bend into that leg. And then come down, place the forearm in front of the knee and press the knee back and look up to the ceiling. And breathe. And come up. Now reverse, bring that foot in, turn the other foot out, and look to the opposite direction, and bend into that leg, and take it over, and press the knee back, and reach up. And come up. Bring both feet front and bring the leg in, arms overhead, inhale, and exhale, release out. Now we're gonna take it down to Savasana. And roll back. Legs together. Arms down by the side of your body, palms up. And we're gonna take four breaths together. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And now we're gonna roll over onto our stomachs and turn. And now place your elbows under your shoulders. Spread your fingertips. Release your head. And I want you to use your back and push up on your hands and lift slowly, but using your back muscles. And look up. And release down, hands under the shoulders and push back into child's pose. Slowly roll up. Take it back down into Cobra. Hands right under the shoulders and use your back and push up. And look up and hold. Make sure not to put pressure onto your hands. It's all in your back support. Elbows in. 
and release down. And push back into child's pose. And slowly roll up. And now the cat and the cow for the undulation series. And come on your hands and knees. You want your hands directly under your shoulders, your legs hip width distance apart, and your hips are directly over your knees. So you're gonna contract and bring your belly button into your spine and drop the head and then arch and head up to the ceiling. And contract. And arch. And now contract, belly button into the spine and drop the head. And arch, pelvis and head to the ceiling. And contract. And arch. And contract. And arch. Four more. Four more. And arch. And three more. And arch. And two more. And arch. And last one, contract, and arch. And pull it back into child's pose. And now come up. And now we're going to take the cat and the cow in motion and begin our undulations. So you arch down through your arm and contract pull over your knees and arch down through your arm and contract pull over your knees and arch down through your arm and contract pull over your knees and arch down through your arm and contract upper back and then upper abs and then lower abs and upper back upper abs and then lower abs and four more and contract and three more and contract two more and contract and last one, arch down and contract, pull over your knees and hold it in child's pose. And now you're going to reverse, begin with the lower abs, so it's contract over the hands and arch, pull back over the knees. So now you begin in the lower abs, then upper abs and then arch into the upper back as you pull back over your knees. And contract over the hands and arch down and pull over the knees. And contract over the hands and arch and pull back over the knees. And contract over the hands and arch, pull back over the knees. And four more. And arch. And three more. Two more. And arch. Last one. And contract. And arch and pull back into child's pose and hold it there. And now slowly roll up. And now we're going to take it cross-legged, facing front, 
And now we're going to bring the hands in front, palms flat. And now we're going to pretend like we're doing the cat and the cow in movement on the floor. So begin with undulation up to down. So arch down through your arms and contract Go over your knees. And arch down through your arms and contract. Pull over your knees. And arch down through your arms and contract. Pull over your knees. And one more. Arch down through your arms and contract. Now we're going to elongate it. So keep the spine straight and arms up. Roll down. And up. Roll down. And up. Roll down. And up. Roll down. So it's upper back, upper abs, lower abs. And upper back, upper abs, lower abs. And upper back, upper abs, lower abs. And upper back, upper abs, low. Now fold. Up, roll down. Up, roll down. Up, roll down. Full time. Up, roll, up, roll, up, roll, up, roll. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. And stretch it forward. Arms out to the side. And roll up, and hands in front. And now we're going to reverse it. Lower abs, upper abs, upper back. So lower abs, upper abs, upper back. So contract and arch down through your arms. Contract and arch down through your arms. And contract and arch down through your arms. Contract and arch down through your arms. Contract and arch down through your arms. Contract and arch down. Now be aware, it's lower abs and upper abs and then upper back. And lower abs, upper abs, upper back. Abs and contract and arch down through your arms. Contract. Two more. And last one. Now reach up and smooth it out. And down, roll up. Down, roll up. So now the spine is straight. Arms overhead, shoulders down. Down, roll up. Down, roll up. Lower ab, upper ab, upper back. Down, roll up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and full time. And down, roll up, down, roll up, down, roll up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and stretch it forward. Arms out. up, arms up overhead, and now we're going to alternate an undulation up to down and down to up. So it's up, roll down, down, roll up, up, roll down, down, roll up. For eight, seven, six, five, four more. Three more, two more, and last one. And stretch it forward, arms out. And roll up. And reach the legs out. Point the toes, arms up, keep the chin up. Forward bend. Chin up, chin up, keep the chin up. And support under the legs. And now drop the head and hold. 
And now roll up. And arms overhead. And keep the toes pointed. And now undulation up to down. Up, roll down. Up, roll down. Up, roll down. Up, roll down. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now undulation down to up and down. Up. Keep the legs straight. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And alternating up to down and down to up. Up, roll down, down, up, up, roll down, down, up, up, roll down, down, up. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. And take it forward, drop the head. Slowly roll up. And now we're going to take it to the side and begin our glute squeezes. So now have the hands in front, relax the legs, really just let the legs relax. And you're going to alternate squeezing and releasing your glutes. Right, left, right, left. So don't use your legs. Don't pump your knees. Right, left, right, left. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Come again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and now full time. And right, left, right, left. Come up, bring the arms out in a second. Palms down and add the undulation. So it's up, roll down, up, roll down, up, roll down, up, roll down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and now undulation, down to up, down, roll up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and alternate up to down, down to up, up, roll down, down, roll up, roll down, down, roll up, up, roll down, down, roll up, up, roll down, down, roll up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, relax your legs. Four, three, two more. And up, roll down, down, roll up, and stretch it forward. Arms reach out in front, drop your head. And slowly roll up. Hands behind you. Feet on the floor, separate your legs, and push up, hands in front, lift the hips, tuck your chin to your chest, and slowly roll up, and face front, legs together, and inhale up, and exhale. Now, feet together, bend the knees, lower abdominals contracted to tilt your pelvis under, 
Arms up, palms in, and now figure eight. Take, hip up, out, down, and in, up, out, down, and in. Now keep the heels on the floor and make sure your knees are directly over your feet and you're using your obliques. Up, out, down, and in, up, out, down, and in. So it's opposite oblique to the hip that's doing the figure eight. Up, out, down, and in. Now make sure not to move your upper body. Don't let your shoulders and your upper back move at all. It's just from the waist down. Up, out, down, and in. Up, out, down, and in. Up, out, down, and in. And now half time. And side to side. And up, out, down, in. Up, out, down, in. Up, out, down, in. Up, out, down, in. And now full time, and around, around, around. Figure eight, figure eight. Keep the heels on the floor, bend the knees. Don't use the upper back, shoulders down. It's all in the obliques. Now bring one foot on the ball of the foot. Take the foot off the floor. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and feet together and flat. And now reverse the feet. Take that foot into releve. And take the foot off the floor. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the feet together for four more, three more, and now let's reverse the figure eight to down to up, down, out, up, and in, down, out, up, and in, down, out, up, and in, down, out, up, and in. Heels on the floor, bend the knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three more, two more, and last one at full time. Bring the foot in releve. And take the foot off the floor. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and feet flat. And reverse. Take the foot into releve. And take it off the floor. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and feet flat. And arms in second, palms down. And now figure eight, front to back. Take it slow. It's front, side, back. And front, side, back. Now the most important thing with figure eight front to back is to make sure that your knees are directly over your feet and they're not moving side to side. It's front, side, back, and front. Once again, it's in the obliques. Front, side, back, and front, and now half time. Front, side, back, front, side, back. Now from the waist up, don't use the upper back. Keep it 
strong. Front side back. Front side back. And now full time. Keep the knees bent. Keep the heels on the floor. And don't use the upper back. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And now figure eight back to front. Take it slow. Back, side, front. And back, side, front. Backside front, backside front, arms out and strong, shoulders down. Don't use your knees. And backside front, backside front, backside front. And now full time. Take it down to the floor into frog's pose. On your knees, separate your legs and slowly take it down onto your elbows. Make sure they're under your shoulders and then open up the knees and take it into your stretch. And pull the hips back. to your stomach, extend the legs out straight, and reach the arms overhead, and roll over onto your back, into Shavasana, palms up, hands right by side your body, relax your feet, And now pull both knees into your chest. And now hug your knees with your hands. And now open up your arms, palms up. Drop your legs over to the right and look to the left. Slowly bring the knees into center and reverse. Drop the knees over to the left and look to the right. back to center and extend the legs out straight arms overhead and reach fingertips and toes in opposite directions and roll over onto your stomach place your hands under your shoulders and push up into child's pose and stretch it out. And slowly roll up. And now let's 
it on the floor. Cross your legs. Sit up straight. Hands on top of your knees, palms up. And close your eyes. And just relax. And now you're going to relax your face. Relax your forehead. Let go of any tension in your eyelids. Relax your mouth. And relax your shoulders. Relax your chest. Relax your rib cage. your belly and now slowly open your eyes and inhale and exhale hands together and thank you
So I gained 70 pounds while I was pregnant. <laughs> I think that uh, getting pregnant just gave me the green light to eat whatever I wanted to. For the first time in my life, I didn't have to worry about what I looked like or what size I was or did I fit in to, you know, look like the cover of Cosmo. I was having a baby. And so it was my time and it was about me and my body and my baby. And so I didn't feel that pressure put on us by society. So I, I didn't worry about it. And then I remember one day I just stopped looking in the mirror. I don't, I don't know why. I, I think I was just kind of in shock at what I was beginning to look like. And I was totally happy that I was having this, this baby. And, and for me, it was having a healthy baby that was the most important thing. But I just stopped looking in the mirror. And I, and I said to myself, it's OK. Because after I give birth, I'm, I'm going to go right back into shape. And I'm going to start working out. So I, I had a beautiful, healthy baby girl. And I had a cesarean, so that was a surprise. So I knew I was going to have to work just a little bit harder, probably. So after six weeks, I had to start working out again. There were no more excuses. And I put on my workout clothes, and I just cried <laughs> the whole workout. And I just remember doing my cardio and doing my exercises and just tears streaming down my face because it was hard and I didn't feel like it anymore. And all I wanted to do was be with my baby and all I wanted to do was lay around the house in my sweatpants and just be a mom. But I, I forced myself. I forced myself to get up and to work out and it was hard. But I knew that if I let myself go and I stopped thinking about me. I just didn't know if I could ever get myself back. And it, and it would be hard. But if I can do it, you can do it.